Hey everyone, welcome to series 21 of the Winter Festival playlist. As usual, I'm going over the Forzaton and also over the championships, what for me are the best cards to use and hopefully for you guys too. So let's have a look first at the Forzaton shop. We have a Chevrolet Cheval and we have the Porsche 914, also in a mode and a car horn. Now let's look, have a look at the Forzaton. We need to own and drive an extreme off-road. We need to complete five cross-country events, two stars on a speed zone, and we need 10 ultimate records. Now for the cross-country, it's very simple. I go here on the map at the aerodrome cross-country, and then I'll show you, I'll share the codes. You take solo, custom events, and an easy Forzaton. This is the code. If you can't find me, or even if you not follow me, you can't see my blueprint. So either follow me or just use this code. Just do it five times. It's just driving straight, and that's basically it. Then the third one is two stars at a speed zone. Now the speed zone I took. I'll take the filter for that speed zone. It is the Croft. Uh, where was that located? Let me have a quick look. I completely forgot where I went. I think it was here. Yeah, this one. So I took this one. So let's have a look. And there you go. Oh, I didn't go far enough. There you go. Just be careful at the corners. It is snowing. But the car can do the speed zone. Just watch here at the end. The first time, of course, I flew into the house. And that's basically there at the end. So just be in the middle. Oh, I almost uh, missed it. But yeah, be careful. You can also do uh, from the other side, coming from this side. So you don't need to be worried about if you jump against the house or not. Now, the last one is... Um, ultimate racket skill since you are here you just put the car in first gear or second gear and just start wrecking everything uh, doesn't matter just take the little walls let's go to somewhere where you can do that or you can just take these fences just keep hitting everything um, and you will get the racket skills well here are not a lot of uh, walls you know the concrete walls just go to some place that you have them but you can also take these just watch out for these trees as you can see but just find a place where you can or you can just go to the airstrip that's also a thing where we had the green airstrip where we had the cross country thing so let's have a look at the trial now the trial as usually i play it with remnants for my video and of course nobody is tuned so that's always a problem and also they took some wrong cars i even see rear wheel drive cars that are completely went wrong so please take a tuned car at least a tuned car if you do the trail. What do we need? An extreme off-road in A800. Now, the car that I use for that is the Bowler. Where are you? There you go. Now, I must say, I retuned every car of this video. So, I suggest you to re-download my tunes for the cars that I use. And if you want to use my cars and my tunes, re-download the tunes because I went in every car and I retuned and fine-tuned the car again. So this is the car I used for the trial. 
I did the three races. I was first in the three races. So this car is just perfect for that. Now, what can we win from that? It's the Ford Falcon Force Edition. Then let's go to Playgrounds. What do we need here? A C600 Classic Muscle. Now, I'm not an expert on Playgrounds simply because I do not like it. Well, especially not in uh, very low classes. If there are higher classes, I'm fine with it, but it's just too slow. So we need, um, what, what did I say? Classic Muscle. Where are you, Classic Muscle? Well, it's sure not here. Retro, Modern, Classic, Muscle. Ah, there it is. Okay, so we have some choices for the playgrounds. Now, what I do is I look at D-Class. Because I saw that C-Class, they are similar to acceleration and all that. So i probably going to tune the Camaro or the Firebird for that. And then I will share the tune when I see that the car performs good in playgrounds. What can we win? Um, we win the Pontiac from 73. Now let's have a look at tip of the iceberg. Here we need a classic racer A800. I'll go over the classic racers in A class. There you go. So you have several options. Now of course the Daytona is or was, I don't know, I don't play online adventure anymore, was the OP car, so you're never wrong with that car, but it's 8 million. Um, the car that I took for that was the 550A Spider. That's actually a very grippy car and very good. Um, I don't even know, I think I prefer the Porsche over the Daytona uh, in this uh, championship. So I advise you to take the Porsche 550. What can we win? We win actually this car here, the Maserati Tipo. Then let's have a look at the next championship. Getting cold. A modern sports car, A800. So let's have a look at modern sports cars. There you go. So you see you have uh, several choices in that, but we need an A-class. Now, the car that I always go to is here, the Eagle Speedster. Um, I had no problems winning the championship. I really like that car. Um, so, that's my advice. Take that car. Maybe you can also take this car. It's also a good car. But I always prefer the Eagle. What can we win from that? The Audi TT RS. Now let's have a look at the last championship, Gold Storage. We need D500 Vans and Utilities. Well, that was a pretty sleepy race for me, but it doesn't really matter. Vans and Utilities. So what do we need? A D-Class. Not much choice, um, but I took the Super Sport Van. Uh, once again, I retuned, fine-tuned every tune that i have and that i'm using again so please if you use my tune re-download the tune so i took the ford transit for this one you can also take the holden but it's rear wheel drive it's probably a little it's a little bit faster but a little bit harder to handle now what can we win from that the Cherokee 2014. here we have the showcase that's um well, that's the choke showcase like usually. So let's go have a look at the stunts. That was not a stunt. This is a stunt. There you go. Okay, so here, this one. This one was a little bit annoying. Normally I take my Ferrari or the Mosler, but I was sliding a little bit too much. Now I have everything off and simulation. So I actually took the Hoodigan for this. The RS in, uh, where is it? In S2. So let's have a look. Ch 
just be careful here with the corners well the hoonigan in s2 is really fast enough to do this this was not my best run um but this is the car i took and got the stunt with now let's go have a look at this one uh, the speed trap that's not hard to do um i take the fry for that and you just need to avoid traffic so let's take the ferrari it's the x class with dirt tires on it that unit is normally also shared so here just well watch out for the traffic as you can see the Ferrari doesn't have problems doing this then we have the nice jump here normally you can start here from on the mountain depends on what car you have but I actually did it with the Ferrari after the corner I went full throttle and I actually had it so I just put the car in second gear and a second gear I actually had it you can also yeah I failed now because uh, but that doesn't matter that's how I did it and I had my three stars for that now let's have a look at the new car that we got so at 50% we have the Mercedes AMG E63 and at 80% the Honda NSX R05 that's also a very good car so let's have a look at that new Mercedes AMG and there he is I saw that people already got the car before it came out and got banned um, well just don't do that because you get banned there you go let's go to the highway because um, I already hear a big engine in this car So what is it stock? It is a S1 in stock. So let's have a look. Well, let's have a look first at the car. And inside. Oh, it has the fancy digital dashboard. So let's have a look how it performs in stock. I see that our acceleration already goes fast. I do not like the engine sound. It's an engine we already own. But it can maybe be a good S1 car. It is a very, it's a S1805. And it already has a nice top speed. So I think it's probably going to be a very good car um, to tune an S1. But I'll have to tune it and test it out. Well, that's it for today. I'll be streaming tonight on Twitch at 9.30 CEST. Hopefully I see you all. I will help you out with everything for the championships. And then we have some fun. Okay, thanks for watching. Hopefully I see you tonight on my Twitch.